Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny, and today's video is just going to be a super quick one, emphasis on the quick, because I have loads to do today. I am packing because tomorrow I am moving to Los Angeles. It's finally happening. It's crazy. I can't believe it. So as I was packing, I thought that it would actually be really useful for you guys who are traveling, which most of us are, um, at least at some point throughout the year, you know what I mean. So. I thought it would be useful to do a video on my absolute must-have essentials to bring in your carry-on luggage on the plane. So in particular for a long-haul flight. So my flight to LA is 12 hours, so I'm kind of thinking anywhere from 5 hours plus these things will come in handy for you. And if you guys are traveling anywhere soon, I would love to know where, so let me know where you're going down in the comments. And yeah, let's jump straight into the video. orange carry-on bag here okay so the first thing that I want to mention which I feel like is something we usually always forget or don't even know that you're allowed to bring on the plane but honestly this one is a lifesaver when you're on the plane and they come around and give you drinks and if you want water you just get like the tiniest little cup and then they have to keep refilling it and like it's all this plastic and waste and it's just bad for the environment also so let's think about that team when you bring a water bottle on your carry-on I never thought that you could because they've taken them off me before but that's when they're full but you are allowed to bring a empty water bottle on the plane so I'm bringing this one here which is just one of the camelback bottles honestly one of the best purchases I have ever made this reusable bottle is so so good it fits how much water is in here 750 milliliters which means as the cabin crew come around, you can just get them to fill this bad boy up instead of giving you a measly little glass so you can stay hydrated because that's something that is so important and will help your skin out so much as well on the plane. I also love how the lid's attached so you're never gonna lose it and just perfect. So my next must have travel essential is kind of one that most people, I mean, they know about as well. And that is just one of the little head pillows right here. Mine's still in the bag, but this one is by far the best one I've ever tried. Trust me, there is a difference. This bad boy is a memory foam pillow. It folds down super nicely and memory foam is just so much more comfortable than those really cheap pillows that you can get. So that's like the regular pillow, but this bit has like a little thing kind of on the top which this really supports your neck so much more with that extra padding and honestly is so so comfortable to sleep with. I also love in this one that it has a little pocket you can put your phone in so you can like put on your phone, listen to your music, have it by your pillow. Super convenient um, and this one also came with some uh, earplugs as well which can be very handy when you get sick of those crying babies on the plane. We all know what it's like. Also I'm going to be linking all of the products that I have. If I can find them online I will link them in the description so you guys can pick them up if you are looking for any of this stuff. Okay so this next one definitely wouldn't recommend if you don't need it and always consult your doctor first but sleeping pills. I don't know what I'll do without these. I never use them ever apart from when I'm flying long distance and need to sleep for the night because if you don't sleep on the plane I honestly feel like it just messes everything up. If you're someone that can fall asleep easy on planes I am very very jealous. So also while we're kind of talking about sleep I'm going to be bringing my little mini lavender essential oil with me and what I like to do on the plane is either read a book or watch a movie, have dinner and after that I will try to go to sleep. When I am going to go to sleep tomorrow on the plane what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of this essential oil on my wrists and also on my temples and that honestly just puts you to sleep like a baby, it helps relax you and also it's not like super invasive, you don't have to spray anything or disrupt like the people sitting next to you so would highly recommend using this as well. When it comes to trying to sleep on a plane you can't go wrong with one of the Peter Alexandra eye masks Honestly, these are so good. Like, I just want to put a little note on it. It just says, like, wait for food and drink. And that's about it. Nothing else. Just, I don't want to miss out on the food, but I want a good sleep. You feel me? These are especially good when they don't fully turn the lights off in the cabin. 
but you just want to sleep so it just kind of blocks it all out so this next product does come into the kind of being comfy and getting all ready for bed category that we're talking about right now and that is these little slides but they're not regular slides they're little uh, fluffy slides kind of like slippers just super comfy I tend to take off my shoes as soon as I get on the plane and put socks on so when you want to walk around on the plane go to the bathroom anything like that these are just super cute perfect also like really like thin and they don't take up a lot of room so you can easily fit them in there okay so this next one I feel like people would often forget about as well including myself but today I'm not forgetting and that is bringing a phone charger or just like a USB cable type thing because in most planes you can plug this into the seat in front of you uh, and charge your phone because you know you're on the plane for so many hours and if you don't turn your phone off you don't want it to die you want to be ready when you get out of the airport with a fully charged phone um, yeah so definitely remember one of these another random thing that I'll be bringing in my carry-on is some Eclipse mints these in my opinion are like the best mints they make your breath super super fresh and you know when you've been on the plane for quite a few hours you may not be feeling quite so fresh and just you know want to make sure you're still smelling good and everything okay so another thing that absolutely I cannot go about on my flight is travel socks so these are so essential for me for a long-haul flight a few years ago me and some of my friends flew to LA and when we got off the plane and we're laying in our beds in our hotel you couldn't even like see our ankles our legs had swollen up so so much I've never had that happen to me before but it was not a good experience it can be really really bad for your health as well and also increase your risk of getting blood clots I just keep mine in a little snap lock bag I know so nerdy basically they just look like stockings but they're really tight when you put them on so what they do is they're compression socks I guess you could call them and they prevent your legs and feet from swelling up basically just help to keep the blood flow going um, but they're not too uncomfortable to wear or anything they are quite tight but you get used to them really quickly and yeah I think they're definitely a must-have for any long flights that you guys are on because the longer you're flying for the higher your risk is of swelling and that kind of thing happening so another thing I would just die without is lip balm because as you would know on flights with all the air conditioning it's just it dries out your skin and your face and everything so so much so my absolute holy grail all-time favorite is Lucas Pore Pore ointment this isn't technically a lip balm although it can be used as a lip balm it's a great heavy duty lip balm so when you really need all that moisture back into your lips and a normal lip balm won't cut it then this guy is amazing especially to leave to leave overnight and you can also use it for other things like if you get really dry skin on planes you could kind of use it as like a little spot treatment on your dry areas it's absolutely fantastic for any rashes or um, any cuts anything like that it's so good and the other lip balm I love is by the brand Haror and it's just this really cute little lip balm I think it's made by this vegan company uh, it smells amazing so this is my daytime lip balm and then Lucas Pawpaw is my go-to nighttime lip balm for the plane. So talking about dry skin, everyone gets it and me on the plane, I just I hate wearing makeup. I'll never wear makeup on a plane. I just want my skin to be as nice as it possibly can. So I will lather it with this stuff right here. And sorry, there's my dog just running around with a ball as he does. So this stuff here is the Body Shop Aloe Vera Soothing Night Cream which is basically like a under eye cream as well because it's so thick and creamy and it just really hydrates the face and the under eye area super well and this just makes your skin feel incredible, it's really natural and it just it feels amazing on the skin. And also I'm pretty sure you have to bring stuff 100ml and under. This is 50 mils, so definitely don't have to worry about it being too big. So this one, you may not need on the plane, but it's actually really nice to have it with you, with your carry-on for when you get off the plane. And that is some good old sunnies. So when I'm getting off the plane, you know, after a long haul flight, I'm not always looking my finest. So what better thing to do than 
this. Cover the face, cover the eyes, no one can see how tired you are. And also, when you get off the flight, you know, sometimes it's just so bright and blinding and you're just like, oh, give me a break. So, you can just look all extra in some big sunnies like this and can't go wrong. Okay, so this next thing that I like to bring with me is a good old classic hairbrush. Just because, you know, you want to keep yourself feeling good and if you've got somewhere that you need to be when you get off the plane, just so you don't look like a complete mess. It's always good to, you know, have one of these with you. Okay, so my last travel essential would have to be a couple of good books. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just because I'm a, an impatient millennial. That's prob probably it. <laughs> but um, I get bored on flights. And even with all the new movies and music and stuff, I don't know, it just gets boring. So when you want to try take a break from the screens, it's actually just really nice to read a good old, you know, classic book. Uh, so I've got a couple I'm going to bring with me that I've been reading at the moment. This one called Tracks by Robin Davison. And the other one I've got here is The Alchemist. So these two books I'd say are just about like two people who are really strong willed, uh, um, have a lot of courage and despite the odds they make their dreams happen and prove people wrong. Which is, you know, really inspires me. So if you're into that type of thing, definitely check them out. We've now reached the end of the video. Those are all of my in-flight essentials. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you out if you're going to be traveling soon. If there's anything that you guys just have to take with you on the plane, let me know because I'm always up for hearing about new travel hacks and things to just make life easier while on the road. But if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I guess my next video is going to be in LA. Well, I'll see you guys there and yeah, talk soon. Bye.